everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video i will be doing another reading wrap up i know it's been a while i think the last one i did was last year in december so i'll be doing my reading wrap up for january to april so for this reading wrap up i'll be talking about the books in the order of when i read them so i'll be starting off with my january reads so for the very first book I read in 2022, I read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And this is actually historical fiction and I rated it 4.5 stars. So this one is about Evelyn Hugo's life. She is an actress in the 1950s or 1970s. I forget when but it's around that time. And it just talks about her struggles in her life, in her career as a woman. And also it talks about who her true love is. For this book, I was hooked all throughout it and I really felt like the characters were real. I feel like TJR has that way of making her characters feel real, just like Daisy Jones and the Six. I highly recommend this if you're a beginner in historical fictions. I feel like this is a good place to start with, as well as Daisy Jones and the Six, which is a book I read last year. Next book I read for January was Verity by Colleen Hoover and I rate this 5 stars. This is a romance thriller and it's about Loen. She is a struggling writer and she gets hired for a job um, to finish Verity's work since Verity was injured and she couldn't finish her, I think, series or novel or something. And she goes through her manuscripts and something like that and she finds something, Loen finds something that she isn't supposed to find. This is just so messed up in a good way. It just hooks you all throughout the book and it just makes you want to know how it ends. I I was like wondering what was Koho thinking while writing this book. It just amazes me. Highly recommend this and this is actually I think my top two favorite Koho book first favorite would be All Your Perfects. It's just a sad read, but this one is just an amazing, like, what the, what the F? <laughs> and for my third book, I have A Thousand Boy Kisses. This is young adult romance, and I rated it 4.5 stars. So this story is about Poppy and Ruin. They were lovers since they were children, but eventually, Ruin had to leave the country because his dad had a job in a different country. So at first, they still had contact with each other, but eventually it stopped, and you don't know why in the beginning. So when he comes back, they weren't talking, he was so upset with her, why did she stop contact, and you just want to know what happens. I think this is one of the best young adult romances I've read. It's just super cute, but also heartbreaking. Honestly, I think every time I opened this book, I was teary-eyed every chapter. It was just so painful. I just felt like their love was too perfect and you were just really rooting for them. Again, this is young adult, so the writing style isn't that complex or it's not that mature as the other books that I showed you. But just overall, the story was so beautiful. I love it so much and it's just an easy read. But again, it's so painful. I rated it 4.5 stars. Super close to 5 just because I was underwhelmed with the ending. I just wanted it to end a little bit better. But still, highly recommend. I will always recommend this to anyone who wants a painful book. The next book I don't have a physical copy of, but this is The Pool Boy by Nikki Sloan. And this is an adult romance, so there's a lot of spicy scenes, and I rated this 3.5 stars. This is actually a second book to a series called the Nashville series. So I read the first book last year and I read this one. You don't have to read the first book to read the second book but it's just within the same neighborhood like the Nashville neighborhood or something. But this is age gap wherein the girl is 40 years old and then the guy is around 20 years old. I forgot the names but this is about a girl and she's newly divorced. She has this pool boy who comes in every week and then they just fall for each other and then the girl is actually like a talent manager or a music producer and and she finds out that this guy has a passion for music and she wants to help him out. So it's just a really cute um, adult romance. I feel like the romance is just based on 
them helping each other out or just rooting for each other supporting each other this i feel like is more plot driven than the first book which is the doctor that's like more spice heavy but if you want like a really nice plot with steam in it i feel like this is for you i don't know why it's so bright in my room <laughs> i hope you're not distracted with the light but anyway next book was people we meet on vacation by emily henry and this one is contemporary romance and i rated it 3.5 stars alex and poppy love traveling every summer but one summer they have like a falling out something happens and you don't know why again in this book but eventually at the end you find out why they build a romance and all that stuff honestly i was kind of bored throughout it i didn't feel the chemistry between them i'm so sorry i feel like a lot of my friends love this book but i'm one of those people who didn't love this i liked it i didn't love it and what i loved about this book though is the setting i just it made me want to go on a vacation but other than that the romance i didn't feel it honestly i kind of like the romance more in beach read i'm not really a fan of emily henry's writing style i guess i don't know i need to read book lovers i'm gonna buy that just to confirm if i really don't like emily henry's writing style but honestly i enjoyed her books it's just not it's not my favorite next book um again i read it on my ipad this is window shopping by tessa bailey this is also contemporary romance but it is a novella so it's around 100 pages 150 pages i don't remember i'm so sad that this is the first tessa bailey read that i read and I rated it 2.5 stars. I'm so sorry, I forgot the names, but this is about a girl who just got out of jail, so she's looking for a job, but it's really difficult for her to find a job. But suddenly, she finds Aiden, I think that's the guy's name, and he's looking for a window shopper. For some reason, when he met her walking around the streets, there's just like instant chemistry between them or something like that which i didn't love i don't love insta love especially that the moment they like found out that they like each other there was like really heavy spice it's just not for me i feel like a lot of people would like this because of the romance and spice together this is also grumpy sunshine where and the girls grumpy the guy sunshine and this is like a christmas read i feel like a lot of people would like this because it was well written but just personally the story wasn't for me next book is the stranger in the lifeboat by mitch album i love this author it says in goodreads this is christian fiction and i rated this 3.5 stars they were in a ship but it crashed or something i forgot what happened but they end up just getting stranded in the middle of the ocean and they find a guy who claims he is the lord so he said he will save them if only everyone believes in him honestly this one i really enjoyed reading i just wanted to know what was the ending i feel like after reading this you really have to like ponder on what happened you really have to think about what the book's about Wait, I'm gonna read you something that really just stuck with me though. The distance between death and life is not as great as you imagined. And then someone says, Oh yeah? Then why don't people just come back on earth after they die? And then the stranger said, which is the Lord, why would they want to? That just really stuck with me. And by the way, that's around page 30, so it's not that far off the book. It's not a spoiler or anything, I guess. If you want something that has a deeper meaning, I feel like you'd enjoy this. I really want to reread it and just understand it more. I love Mitch Album's work because there's really um, deep meanings behind them and you really learn a lot if you just really think about what you read if that makes sense. Next read, One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. This is a young adult mystery book and I rated it four stars. This is about five kids who get detention but um, after detention only four of them gets out alive so someone dies 
and you want to know what happens to that kid that died. I thoroughly enjoyed this, wanting to know who the killer was, what happened to the person. I feel like the journey of reading this, like just finding out, wanting to find out, guessing, was super fun. But when you get towards the end, you get underwhelmed. I saw on my bookstagram that someone liked the second book better, but I think those are different characters. I actually want to pick that second book up hoping that it would be really better than this but again i already enjoyed this one i had five books that i read and they're actually part of a series and most of them were like 90 to 150 pages each that's why i think i read it in two days the five books so it's called the mindfuck series and i rated it overall five stars it is romance thriller um Per book, I rated it differently though. So for my five stars, I rated the second, fourth, and fifth book five. And then the first and third, 4.5. I don't remember what happened in each book because I read it like the same day. So I just rated it overall five stars because I really enjoyed it. It is about... A serial killer and an FBI profiler so this FBI profiler has a case um, he has to find the serial killer for this particular case he meets someone in the cafe apparently she's the serial killer but he doesn't know that it's basically that it's not a spoiler because it happens like in the first book um, in the first few pages I guess but I just enjoyed it overall. Maybe a romance thriller is just really for me. Also, you have to search trigger warnings because there's a lot of messed up things that happen. That's why she kills people. But overall, I think so far, it's my best read of the year. Yeah, I just really love the romance, their chemistry together, the mystery of it all, of wanting to find out what really happened, why is she like that and it's also heartbreaking because of what happened to her just everything was so perfect i love it i am editing this video right now and i'm just realizing that the lighting was getting pretty bad so i think i'm gonna refilm the second half of this i was able to just insert all my january reads since i was able to read 13 books at that time and i still have 15 more books to go so I'm just gonna refilm it and do a part two since it might get too long if I still edit it. Yeah, I don't really mind the bad lighting but it might bother you and also the video might get too long. So I'm just gonna film a part two. So let me know if you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did like it. Comment below your favorite books and other like book videos you want me to do i'm planning to do like my top 10 favorites or like a book recommendations of what you might want or anything like that or even not book related just let me know and please subscribe to my channel for more videos and i will see you on my next video bye